How's it going guys and welcome back to another year of scruffy spooktober specials. This is my favorite time of the year so I am very excited to get a bunch of specials out for you. This year we're going to start it off a little different. We're going to be opening up the new 2022 Yu-Gi-Oh! I believe it's Power of the Pharaohs. It says right here on the back. 2022 Tin of the Pharaohs Gods. Ooh, that's very glary. It says uh, third of three Yu-Gi-Oh! tins that got released. And this is the last one. There's three Mega Packs in here. And what is more spooky than Pharaohs? Things that don't exist, like ghosts or mummies. Mummies are real. There are mummies at museums. Why on earth would a museum put a mummy in it? We're going to cut this open, open the packs, and what we're going to be looking for in here, there are three big hitters that we really are trying to get after, and that's the alternate art blue eyes, the alternate art red eyes, and the dark magician girl. So without any further ado, let's cut it open and get inside these cards. All right. All right. We have our mega packs here. We got three of them. And look at these thick boys. There are going to be a lot of cards in these. So we'll open them up one by one um, and hopefully get one of the three big hitters we're looking for. We're only doing the 110 opening today because that's all I paid for because this hobby can get expensive. And I don't know if there's a card trick with Yu-Gi-Oh! So we're not even going to attempt it. All right, try and fix. I use an Android phone, so it's going to be blurry because I don't like iPhones. So we're just going to go through these pretty quickly. Not going to really read off the cards much because we're really only looking for those three big hitters. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. That is very blurry. Yeah, I really need to invest in an iPhone. A lot of these cards do have that hollow. I believe this is one of the popular cards. One of the big ones. The three, um, you know, Egyptian gods. They each have trap or spell cards that uh, have their likeness on them. Yeah, there we go. That's one. All right, there's, uh, was it Cypher? Cypher the Sky God? That's a big hit. So we got we got a popular card here. All right, just going to look through the rest of these. None of the big three we're looking for, but we did get this one. So we'll sleeve that up because that looks nice. We're sleeving it up and putting it in a hard case. There we go. That is a nice looking card for just a trap card. So one pack's down and we're still looking for the big three. It's very unlikely we're going to get all three of them. It's actually very unlikely we're going to get any of them. But this is for the Spooktober special because again, pharaohs are spooky. As our friend Kevin told us earlier, what are pharaohs if not just fancy mummies? Now we're going to go through these a little quicker. All right, another pack. None of the big three. Oh, I, I accidentally hit the stand. All right, last one. At least we got one decent card out of here so far. And let's hope for... I'm hoping for the Blue Eyes just because... I think the Blue Eyes is the Charizard of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you guys agree with that. And Red Eyes is like the, the Dragonite. Still popular, but not as popular. And I really wish... What if I do this? Does that help? There we go. Okay. Took us to the last pack to figure out how to unblur it. We'll go slow through this one. Got some dragon cards. Dragon cards are usually the most popular in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's a neat looking card. Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. Apex Predation. And... Alright, none of the big three. But we got some nice looking cards. And there we go. See that one better. Looks like we only got the one hit from the pack. But these tins aren't very expensive. So I'm not terribly disappointed. So that is what we're doing to kick off Scruffy Spooktober specials this year. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you guys next time.